Hello everyone and welcome back to another YouTube video, another pick a card reading I should say and I'm so excited to be back with more readings for you guys. Today's reading is what positive changes are happening for you, what positive changes are going to be happening for you and are happening for you right now and so it's like a really uplifting reading for things to look forward to and all of that sort of stuff. So yeah I just wanted to say that I'm back, I've had to take some time off, not because I wanted to but because I wasn't able to work due to some health issues that I was going through um, but I'm feeling a lot better now and yeah a lot has changed and rearranged and you know life stuff so Things are going well and I hope that everyone else is going really well as well and I also need to tell you guys that I'm starting a new project um, with coming back in this space like I feel like lots of a lot of things has changed and I feel like the way that I want to offer my work has changed as well so I'm going to be starting a new project that is going to be focusing on light language it's going to be a weekly light language live stream where I'm going to be doing a healing on you every single week and it's going to be cumulative like spirit wants to do it every week because it builds upon each other it builds upon each other but I'm also being guided to work to my strengths like this time away has given me some I don't know clarity about what my strengths are as a healer as an energy healer and I feel guided to work in the realm of clearing blocks and trauma release so really working in the realm of trauma release but um, doing so in a safe way so it's not like with trauma release that once you start to intentionally release trauma that it's going to sort of all pour out of you or be overwhelming or anything like that because we work with the intuitive and intelligence of the body to do with um, how much is released at any given time and how much is brought into your awareness at any given time because there can be a lot of stuff that we have that is really in our blind spots like that's the energy that I'm working what that's the energy that I'm going to be targeting is the blind spots the parts in you that manifest that you don't want to manifest like it manifests as illness or it manifests as poverty or it manifests as somehow never getting the relationship right this is all subconscious patternings that we have within us that we also have control over to some extent because we have the power to free ourselves from it and so light language is a tool that helps to release those blocks or release that trauma that's getting in the way that's creating a point of attraction for things in your life that are holding you back from being your true self so yeah so weekly light language trauma release clearing the subconscious blocks it's that is my specialty i feel like it's like clearing those blocks just like getting in there and clearing it out <laughs> it's a very clearing kind of frequency so it's really going to build upon itself you guys over every single week um, and the other aspect of this group that i'm going to be running is that i want to offer a, a space for us to get into prayer <laughs> get into prayer i've been in love with prayer and praying and setting intentions it's been i've just been like doing it so much but i also realize the power of when we pray for one another and that's what i want to start doing is like praying for one another as a group and maybe even having like my idea is that every week you can write in and you can ask for something that you want prayers for and it might be something personal to you in your life or someone in your life is going through something or something in the world is breaking your heart and you need to hold space in prayer for this and we're going to do this as a group we're going to send our energy together as a group towards that one person in the group or towards that situation and we're going to use our energy that we have on this side of the veil to actually make a difference and this is what spirit's been telling me about and why spirit wants me to do this as well as part of the group not just the trauma release but this side of it is because when we're on like we are here in the physical for a reason we um could have manifested as spirit guides or as non-physical beings in some way but we're here in the physical we're here in the 3d and when we're here in the 3d we have a responsibility like we have a responsibility to kind of like look after each other <laughs> and to um to use our power that's the responsibility the responsibility is to use our power to use our will and part of the way that we use our will is through prayer and it's through intention and so we intend that someone gets better we intend that somebody um, heals we intend we pray that this person you know um, recovers whatever it is 
that is some actually an important part of the equation that like we have to do from this side of the veil from the physical side of the veil that we that that spirit guides it's like you know sometimes we can get into the perspective of like well spirit is so powerful or our spirit guides are the ones that are, are powerful but spirit wants to put that reflection back onto us and be like no we are powerful we have power and we actually have to use that power and take responsibility for that power and part of the way that we do that is through prayer is through praying to spirit and and using the power that we have to direct energy on this side of the veil using that for good using that to direct energy towards healing towards peace towards love and doing that as a group is so beautiful so i really feel that um i'm going to encourage each and every one of you who decides to join to at one point in the group i, I don't know how long it's going to go for but at least probably six months at one point during that time you know put yourself out there to be prayed for okay <laughs> that's what i'm asking for is like at some point put yourself out there to be prayed for and i guarantee you that it's going to change your life it's going to change your life to experience that feeling of the love coming towards you and feeling all of that directed healing energy towards you. It's very special, it's very sacred. And so I want us all to experience that as a group, like the power of what we can do as a group, but I also want to use that group group intention that we have for, for the new earth and to direct that into certain areas of the earth together. And if I feel called to as well, I may direct light language towards an individual in the group, um, depending on what they write in with and what is said and things like this. So we're just gonna kind of explore that prayer portion of things and see what ends up manifesting so it's a weekly live stream and within that live stream will be both the trauma release light language healing which is going to be very high vibrational <laughs> and then the second part will be where i read out different people have written in for different prayers and i'm going to ask for everyone to contribute as much as they feel called to but maybe contribute <laughs> um even if it's a bit out of your comfort zone, because there's something quite magical, like I said, in, in terms of asking for help or, or putting that out there. So it's going to be maybe an hour, an hour and a half every week. And I'm going to be just yet yeah, pouring my healing energy into that space with light language. And yeah, that's what I feel called to do. And that's what spirit is pushing me. Spirit is pushing me, <laughs> pushing me into it. Um, and I feel really positive about this. I feel, yeah, it feels like as well, I feel really cool to be doing the live stream aspect of it um, because there's something very electrical that seems to be created like when we all come together with our intentions. Like even if you can't make it to the live, I think just the intention of listening every week to this healing is going to change your life. And I know it's going to change my life to even just be <laughs> channeling this much light language um, with so much intention and yeah, so there's going to be as well a community sort of page. I want I want the ability for you guys to contact each other if you want to within that community space because I know it can be hard to meet spiritual people and <laughs> um, in this world we seem as a spiritual in light like spiritual awake ones we seem to be like dis spread out across the globe. I don't know why spirit did that, but well I do kind of know why. But yeah, so it might be a good way to meet people if you resonate there's going to be like a public forum where you can share what's been going on for you what processes you've been having or you know what it was like to be prayed for by the group or to be sent all that healing energy how did that change da, da, da. so that's all for now i think if you have any questions please let me know comment them below and it's going to be starting in a week's time so it's coming up really soon <laughs> and it just feels like yeah a whole new era happening and yeah, I just wanted to let you all know about it and if you resonate please check out the links below and yeah all right all of that being said I'll let you get into the reading now and enjoy
Hello, pile number one. So you chose trust that all will be well. Trust all will be well. New moon. <laughs> New moon in Virgo. So that's funny. <laughs> I feel like you're working really hard. You have been working really hard for a really long time and spirit really wants to acknowledge you. That seems to be like the really first message coming through. Spirit wants to acknowledge your hard work. Maybe you feel like you haven't been acknowledged or recognized for the hard work you've been putting in or you haven't gotten the results or you feel like some kind of area of life, maybe things feels unfair because you have to put in like double the amount of effort than someone else just to get the same results or something like this. Like there's something that's been requiring of you to dig deep, to persevere, to work hard, some kind of dream, some kind of goal, some kind of area of life that you've been working on and Spirit is saying it's about to pay off. And also to be really proud of yourself because on the back of the deck we have be proud of yourself uh, last quarter moon in Taurus so there's very earth heavy energy with Virgo and Taurus both cards are talking about working hard and that's what I'm getting from the energy you're a hard worker and there's something about it, it's like spirit feels like you don't recognize that in yourself enough that's what it is it's like you don't recognize that in, your, in yourself enough and maybe you question like have I done enough is that the problem that I haven't done enough oh my gosh and spirit saying you are enough you have enough you do enough it's enough and spirit kind of feels like I feel like spirit what spirit feels like the way that spirit sees you you don't always see yourself that way like spirit sees you working really hard and is so proud of you but you might feel like oh well I'm not getting the results that I want so I haven't done enough so there's some kind of self-image here. That's what it is. It's like spirit wants you to see yourself through the way, the eyes of spirit, the way that spirit sees you. And there's a perfection with the Virgo. There's a perfection about you when you can see yourself through spirit's eyes. When you can see yourself clearly, there's some kind of distortion in your self-image and spirit wants you to be aware of it so that, just so that you know, that the way that you see yourself a lot of the time might not be completely accurate, really. <laughs> okay, but it's positive changes, right? So it's like your self-image is going to start to align more with how the divine sees you. You're gonna be basically able to see how spirit sees you in your perfection. And I'm seeing that's partly because you're gonna to start to get results in some area of life, like some, again, something that you've been needing to like trust with trust all that as well you've had to trust you might not have had the evidence that it's definitely going to work or that you um haven't had the success in the earthly realm yet but there's something about being proud of the work that you've done like you're going to have some kind of tangible result to be proud of you're going to have some kind of physical manifestation to be proud of that's evidence of the hard work that you put in so that you're not sitting there guessing and second guessing and wondering and hoping and dreaming and visualizing and it's like there's going to be you're basically graduating from the part of the manifestation where you don't see anything yet where you just have to trust where you're like okay I'm on this side of the manifestation where nothing's happened yet but I know that something's changing <laughs> and you're actually going to start to have the manifestation in tangible in in physical yeah in 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 fullness so Success, the next positive change you're having is success in an area of life you've been working really hard at or that you've been wanting success in for a long time, like maybe even decade or something. Like this is a big standing with the earth energy. This is like a long standing dream or a long standing vision. You've had vision, manifestation, goal. Um, but it also feels really significant to your soul. It feels like achieving this next positive change that's coming in, what you've been manifesting, Achieving it is going to set you free in some way. It's going to help you to like be the version of you that you've come here to be. It's like you've been working towards it because it is who you are. It's a part of you. It's an embodiment. It's, it's meant to be here. You're meant to share this. You're meant to be this, whatever it is. Like it could be anything. <laughs> it really could be anything. It's so much. It's so true. And it might be something that like you've had to get... So what I'm getting is that it was always a part of you, this goal, this dream, this manifestation, it's always a part of you and it was always meant to be a part of you. 
but there might have been a point in your life where you actually manifested this before but you manifested it from a lower frequency place or from a place of like trying to force something to happen or you manifested it but somehow the frequency was not aligned and you thought it was you know for example you thought it was your dream job but it actually was um really toxic workplace or you thought or you manifested your dream physique but you were using you know some kind of performance enhancing drugs and and so what's the point kind of thing like there's some kind of shortcut there was some it's like that and I'm not accusing you of anything please <laughs> I'm just trying to use an example of like the way that you might force something to manifest um you know like using steroids or something and it's like but it takes away it's like you can you can manifest something but it but it takes away from that manifestation when you do that shortcut or when you force something from a low frequency place you know and so it's almost like this thing was so important to you that you almost were willing to risk everything you're almost willing to like do whatever it took to make it happen to even maybe like sacrifice your own health or something is a theme that I'm getting um you know even if it was say a workplace you're willing to sacrifice your health even though it wasn't aligned so spirit wasn't going to like give you that promotion or that that because you weren't meant to stay there do you know what I mean and it's like instead you got fired instead of being promoted you got fired and you got a big slap in the face from spirit and you're like spirit what the heck I put so much work into this okay so it's like spirit wants you to know that you never had to settle you never had to settle you never had to do the shortcut way even though it felt at the time maybe like that was you that was you making your dreams real that was you working as hard as you could okay but spirit's saying that now it's like you've really come to a point where i'm seeing that you're wiser now <laughs> you're a lot wiser now and it's like you've reined in that energy of making it happen at all costs winning at all costs and you've realized that there is a cost and you can't you, you know winning comes at a cost if you are sacrificing important things you know like your health or something so it's like you've reined that in now and so spirit's like okay now you're actually manifesting this from a really high frequency place now you actually manifest sorry my cat is on our is in on this reading and she's moving around the desk but um, now you're actually manifesting this from a really high frequency place and so it's going to be stable and it's going to be the true expression of who you are you know it's like it's important to you for a reason it's it's come from a true place in you from a soul level place in you it's just that along your journey in the past I'm feeling energies where the ego kind of got involved and was telling you you know you're you have to um, push yourself you have to force this you you haven't done it yet it's not good enough kind of thing and so that led you to kind of act in a distorted way where I said you might have like you know sacrifice something like your health in order to reach that goal and then you realize once you were there that you had to give that up you know like maybe you got like I said you got your dream physique but you did through steroids and then you realize that that's not the right path and you have to let it all go and you have to sacrifice it and that's because it was done on the wrong foundation okay so now it's like you're gonna get that dream physique but it's done on the right foundation and it took you maybe a decade or something and it took a lot of trial and error but it, you got there from an organic place an organic place that's completely stable and that is not going to be taken away okay so there's some kind of theme really interesting theme here where it's like you're manifesting something now at a much higher level at a much higher frequency and your guides are like hey be proud of yourself be so proud of yourself because of the journey that you've been on literally it's such an amazing journey that you've been on there's some aspect of this dream or this goal that's manifesting for you that is really tied up into the truth of who you are and that's why it's been with you for such a long time it's almost always been with you because it's the truth of who you are and it's about manifesting the truth of who you are into the physical realm and that's why it's so important to you and I'm just getting this really strong like spiritual evolution energy where it's like the past energy is really gone from you completely that past energy of where you were willing to cut corners you know I'm not saying you knowingly did I think you just were so determined to manifest your dream that you didn't realize that you were doing it from a place of um, maybe lack you know of thinking I have to do it this way I have to sacrifice this way um, and, and not realizing that it was a situ the situation was out of alignment and, and that it was unstable therefore and therefore it wouldn't wouldn't be able to continue 
So it's like I'm seeing that you manifested this dream before, you manifested a version of this before, like I said, the, the dream job, but it was toxic, so spirit had to take you out of there instead of getting the promotion you wanted. Or the, the dream body, but it was toxic because it was done through steroids and, and that wasn't going to last because it was hurting you, right? <clears throat> not saying you did that. <laughs> I don't know why that example's come through, but it's a good example, Spirit, I have to say. Anyway, so that's the energy of the past, and it's like, that's completely gone now. I don't see that in your energy field at all, and that's why Spirit wants you to be so proud of yourself, because you've worked so hard to move from that place of um, self-sacrifice, or winning at all costs, or suppressing your own, like, it's like suppressing your own experience, like, being like, it doesn't matter if I'm suffering, or this is really, you know, uncomfortable for me, because as long as I'm winning, or as long as I'm getting this thing, and Spirit's like, well, it doesn't have to be like that, and something that's in alignment for you is going to be really enjoyable, like, to some extent, it might not always be, <laughs> but it's going to be, there's going to be an energy of um, sustainability, okay? Let's put it like that. There's gonna be some aspect of it that's sustainable for you. And that's an aspect of it. That's a sign that it's in alignment. So now it's like you're manifesting results from a sustainable way. And I'm seeing you're just on the brink of getting them, okay? So even if you're looking around and things are still seeming a little bit like it's not changing, you're really, really right on the brink of it changing, okay? So it's really, really coming in, like I'm seeing that real, um, <clears throat> things are really building in the non-physical and it's going to be translating into the physical. And so the real message Spirit wants to give you is to believe in yourself, oh man, and just be so proud of yourself because of the journey and the evolution that you've gone on. And you know, so many people Spirit is saying, you know, don't, go on this kind of journey with their manifestation, with their with their persistence, because you're such a persistent soul that you realize that when you tried to manifest something in a way that wasn't quite in alignment, you did not give up on that dream. You were like, okay, let me let me manifest it now in alignment. Let me do it the right way this time. And it's really awesome. So Spirit's saying you're gonna be massively, massively re rewarded for this. Like, <laughs> yeah, like massively. And, um, <clears throat> And that's the positive change coming in. It's like this finally gets to manifest for you. You finally get to have it, and it finally gets to you finally get to have it for good, for sustainable, you know, <clears throat> in a sustainable way. <laughs> okay, so let's pull some final messages for your group, okay, and just see what does spirit want you to know. What does spirit want you to know about the positive changes coming in for you? Restriction. Oh my god and look at the back of the deck the the weird the wounded human ego gob the goblin why did why did i struggle to say that <laughs> the wounded human ego and then we have restriction so it's like the restriction is finally going to be taken away right you're going to not be restricted anymore it's almost like you were trying to plant a seed but the the soil just was never going to hold it the soil was never for some reason it was never going to grow and spirit knew that but you didn't know that and you just had to keep trying and trying and trying and trying until finally you find the right combination you find the right i don't know it's almost like you had to remove some kind of block <clears throat> yeah like the wounded human ego it's like something within you was like determined to try to manifest it from an out of alignment place. And you had to completely rid yourself of that. You had to completely let go of any kind of out of alignment energies that was coming from wounded energy around this, because this is a big goal. Okay, this is a big dream that you have. It feels like really significant that um, <clears throat> it's finally ch shifting for you now. Like this is a big restriction. This is, this is spirit spirit restricting something from from happening and it's because you were trying to manifest it from unknowingly i'm sure from this kind of a place and the spirit's not going to let you do that because it's not going to you know even if you got the thing you wanted like from the examples i gave it's not going to feel that good it's not going to last that long it's going to come at a cost when it, when you manifest from this wounded goblin place <laughs> the goblin the wounded human ego when when we manifest from this place it's not good. <laughs> it's not good and it doesn't last long and it's not going to feel as good and all these other things, you know? So it's like <sighs> somewhere along the line, you had the wisdom of, as a soul to like let go of trying to manifest from this or realize that this was playing out for you and you were like, why, why, why? Stop, stop, stop. And now 
this restriction has a lot like lifted I'm seeing it's lifted pretty much at the moment it's being lifted and then the next the next phase for you is that success and just actually getting to have the thing but in the best kind of way because you manifested it with spirit you manifested it with the divine you manifested it with divine alignment and my gosh so it's just a really beautiful um beautiful message for you group one so that's the message and i'll be seeing a lot more of you i'm sure bye okay so group two you chose be real full moon in Aquarius so the positive change is coming in for you group two I'm feeling like you're about to be a part of some kind of community some kind of high vibrational community I'm feeling like a community energy with this be real card and I'm trying to get it to be a better shot so you can see the imagery because I'm getting really drawn into the imagery it's just a little bit overexposed okay but you see how there's like a like a really beautiful river and they're in some kind of a natural setting and then someone is pouring the water very aquarius symbology there but the energy that i'm getting from this card is like i feel like there's a group of people camping in the woods like a group of really close friends like really high vibrational spiritual friends you know what i'm vibing <laughs> and they're like camping in the woods or they're having some kind of a festival in the woods in the forest and then this person's just like gone off to um, you know grab some water pour some water I don't know rinse this jug and they're just having a little quiet moment away from the group but they're just like vibing they're buzzing on this energy of being part of a group being part of like like a like-minded um, community and finally feeling really raised up and uplifted by that and almost like a sense of confidence you know how they say like people are more confident when they have their friends with them it's that kind of energy like I'm seeing a positive change happening for you in life is you're feeling much more confident it's because you have the backing of a group or a community or a support like a soul family it's like friendship energy it's like having friends with you makes you feel stronger than having to do it alone <laughs> so I'm seeing positive change for you is like confidence really feeling more confident in yourself and also feeling like you're a part of something bigger that makes you feel really high vibe like the energy from this card is just like I'm just imagining this extremely high vibrational gathering in the woods and it's just really natural and fun and you know new earth kind of energy and this person's just taking this little quiet moment and this person is you symbolically like you're just taking this little quiet moment to be grateful and to be like wow I've manifested something really special here I'm feeling really confident I'm feeling really uplifted by the people around me by the group that I'm in by the family by the community that I have I'm feeling this uplifting energy like you're a part of something you're you're one part in the whole and that makes you feel so aligned and alive and happy and yeah so so you might actually be going camping or something like that as well <laughs> or going on some kind of festival but um it, it's just the energy of that feeling when you're with the community when you're with that aligned with those aligned people when you're vibing so high and it just feels so good you know all right let's pull another card for you group number two all right positive changes spirit for group two what do you want them to know positive changes for group two what do you want them to know <laughs> absolute truth courage self-respect responsibility the lady of the lake this is the from the sacred is it sacred it's from the avalon oracle deck and this card always makes me be like whoa <laughs> i don't know it just feels really like strong energy when this card comes up in a reading because it's really no joke it's absolute truth like absolute truth like objective truth like there's something about this which is really gives me that energy of like you know the divine the divine judgment you know divine judgment of what is absolute truth um <laughs> okay but positive change is coming in for you courage and self-respect responsibility and you know what this is giving me solar plexus chakra energy for you it's like sitting in that solar plexus chakra whenever i do energy healing on people i often find if they have some problem here it's like there's there's a lack of like when the energy comes through the, the healing energy light language comes through for them it's always this frequency of like self-respect like have self-respect for yourself um and like stick up for yourself stand up for yourself you know have a backbone stand for something and it's like something like that kind of energy is coming in for you and it's going to be a positive change because i don't know maybe it's like you're going to take a stand for something that you felt like you couldn't before and it's because you feel some kind of sorry it's my cat moving around on the desk 
It's because you feel some kind of confidence from being held in a wider community or with like-minded people. Maybe you don't feel so isolated or so crazy or something like this. And then you realize the truth of who you are and how amazing you are and how special you are. It's like that kind of energy. <laughs> You're really going to be feeling like self-respect for yourself, but also the courage to be yourself, the courage to shine. And so maybe something changing for you like that wasn't there before because it's positive changes and I do feel like this is something different and I really could just be the simple thing of like people meeting people like really finding um finding the right environment is what I'm getting from this card with absolute truth like the right environment and this is spirit always brings this message up but <laughs> You know, a fish needs water to thrive in, right? A fish needs the right kind of water, seawater or not seawater, to, to thrive in. A bird needs a sky to fly in, right? It, freedom to fly. Like we all have on, on earth these different things that we need, specifically us, that we need, that makes us thrive, that makes us shine. And it's like I'm seeing you getting that unique environment in which you actually genuinely thrive. And that's the positive change coming in for you. Okay, so I'm going to pull and some tarot for you, group number two, because I want to see what positive changes are coming in. I want to see how this positive change is coming in. Give me some more details, Spirit. Okay, so it's coming through Spirit. It's coming through the Divine. It, it's really coming through a personal shift, I suppose, a personal shift within yourself, which is somehow like allowing this new timeline to take place. This, to me, feels like, group two, that you will be on your highest timeline like your highest timeline, you're going to be able to have the strength to hold that really high frequency. And it's because something's going to come in that's going to help you. Like you're going to be in the right environment. You're going to be around the right people. You're going to have the right community, the right job, the right everything that's going to make you be real. It's going to make you be the realest version of yourself, which is also the most high vibrational version of yourself when you're completely authentically yourself and alive. And it's like, yes. And I'm seeing that this is a shift. This is a positive change because it's like, I'm feeling like maybe there was something with your solar plexus chakra where you weren't fully as able to have that self-respect for yourself or that courage for yourself um, to be authentic. And it's because you were in the wrong environment. That's all that it was. Spirit doesn't want you to take it as a personal thing about yourself because it was simply that you were in the wrong environment and therefore you're not going to be authentic with, you know, it's like, <laughs> it's like Harry Potter, okay? You know how there's the muggles, the non-magical people, and then there's the wizards and the witches. And it's like a wizard and a witch is not going to tell a muggle that they're a magical person because the muggle is just going to get freaked out, not really understand, and it's just going to be a bit weird. Um, so there's something about that. It's like you're going to be around your people. You're going to be around the magical people where you can be your magical self and you don't have to hide it or think people, you know, you don't have to think that it's weird. <laughs> no one's going to think that it's weird, basically. <laughs> um... And that's going to heal a lot of things for you because it's like, it's almost like it's going to heal some kind of energy levels, like some kind of will to live. Like, because I'm getting the solar plexus chakra for you guys, this group. And it's like, it's like you're healing your will, you're healing your will, but it's almost like the will to live because I'm seeing something about not being able to be real, not being able to be authentic made, makes life feel like it's not worth living because it feels like we're being cut off from ourselves, from our life force, from, you know, our truth. Like it's, it's just like a feeling of being strangled when you when you can't be authentic. So it's like, you're going to be attracting in, you've had some kind of internal, internal shift, which is allowing the timelines to change and it's allowing spirit to come in and really, really help you. And, um, you're going to be able to be yourself group too and it's the most beautiful thing you've ever witnessed and it's like you finally really understand you're going to be so in alignment that you really understand what it feels like to love yourself because you understand how you are perceived from the from the perception of the divine it's like you see yourself through spirit's eyes you see yourself through your higher self kind of lens so you see the perfection of of who you are your your uniqueness it's all about authenticity and interestingly enough it's like and this is interesting <laughs> two interesting st straight after one another um 
we have the Aquarius energy, okay? And then strength is Leo. And these are two sister sign cards, or sister sign energy, sorry, Leo and Aquarius. They're very connected. And Aquarius is about the community. And then Leo is really about the self, the self identity, your ego. And it's like something about finding community, finding these people around you that activates you, the right environment. Finding that is what's gonna basically allow you to really be yourself and and shine your your personal light it's like it's gonna it's gonna influence your personal journey a lot but you have done something that's allowed this to come in and it's in divine timing spirit saying strength talks about divine timing with the universe it's like there's nothing you could have really done to make this happen earlier it's in divine timing and again strength it's like confidence you're gonna be so confident group too oh my goodness i think that people are gonna feel like I don't know there's something about people from your past like not being able to recognize you because you held yourself back a lot around others that you weren't aligned to and so then when you find people that you're aligned to and you're suddenly letting out your authentic self and you're being who you are and it's amazing and it's like people are gonna not even recognize you <laughs> that's what i'm getting people are not gonna even gonna recognize you this true self of yours is so ma magnificent and i think that's just the biggest blessing is that you loving yourself because when you go through like traumas and stuff on earth sometimes it can manifest as like we don't love ourselves even though um you know even though i don't really know why that is you know but it happens a lot and it's like you're you're clearing out the patterns of like not loving yourself and using that as a as an ex, uh, okay spirits saying it's not i didn't mean to say excuse spirit saying the reason that we don't love ourselves is is because it's like we want to turn it against ourselves instead of seeing it as like the situation outside like i hate this situation i hate this abuse i hate this you know injustice it's like instead of saying that we hate ourselves we think that this thing bad things happening because it's me this must be happening because it's me instead of i hate this situation i hate this abuser i hate this toxic family i hate this this thing and this reason that we can't say i hate it is because usually these things start imprinting at a very very young age and we as children you don't have the ability to say like i hate this situation that i'm in no, you don't have the maturity, the understanding to like separate self and situation. You just say, I hate myself because I'm feeling bad all the time or, I'm, or whatever. I'm going through this terrible situation. It's sort of a way of coping spirit saying. It's, it's like, it's too much to say, I hate this situation. It's too much to say, I hate, I hate my family. We have to say, I hate myself because I don't fit into my family. So I must be the problem. Do you see? And it's like, that is what's healing spirit saying. It's like that pattern of ever turning against yourself, ever doing that. And the reason is innocent. And that's why spirit wanted to answer my, my rhetorical question when I was like, why do we do this? Why would we hate ourselves when really, you know, you haven't done anything wrong. But spirit saying is because it's a protective mechanism so that you don't have to call out the abuser or the situation that you're in that you have no power over. You have no power to change that. You have, you're a child, right? So you have to internalize it, turn it against self. And I've noticed that women do this a lot more than men, but men do it as well. But women really um, put that anger inwards against the self. A lot more men often will be able to somehow externalize it, punching walls or whatever. Whereas women, it's like more like self-harming behaviors or something like this. So. Well, that's the energy of the feminine, shall we just say. Like the feminine often turns against self, the masculine often will fight against others, right? So it's like this wounded feminine energy. There you go, that's healing, where it's not gonna turn against self anymore. It doesn't need to turn against self anymore. It understands why there were patterns where, like I said, where there might not have been self-respect. And that's from that innocent child place that's healed now. It's healed in you. And so you're now gonna be very real group two you're going to be very very real and it's going to set you free and you're going to feel like life is so worth living because i can be me and i can just share myself and be expressive and and not have to censor myself all the time because i'm seeing you're going from a place in your past where your energy was somehow depleted by this patterns of suppressing self or like um not having courage or confidence in yourself and and stuff like this it's like that was really draining you and it's because it wasn't you i feel like you're actually a really confident person <laughs> with strength coming through it's like 
watch out world <laughs> um so yeah it was like draining you and now it's like this new era these positive changes is that you're just gonna have so much more energy because you're not doing any kind of like self self-sabotaging behaviors to drain yourself like by cutting you know maybe self-sabotaging behaviors isn't the right word but it's like something in the subconscious was keeping you from loving yourself and that's what's changed it's like you're letting the love in you're letting the love in and that's what's making the biggest difference and you were consciously always letting the love in but subconsciously that wounded inner child part was was turning against self because that's how it knew how to handle the situation it was in as a child it didn't know how to do anything else so it had to be like i'm the problem i'm the problem it's in me it's me it's me and then spirits like no this whole journey is, has been you realizing that the problem wasn't you it was the situation that you were put in as a child it was the situation that you were raised in and then coming out of that as an adult it's like you're now actually willing something about willing to love yourself you're willing to let go of those patterns because you're in a safe place now and it's bringing in the soul family it's bringing in this authentic group of people that you feel so held by you feel so supported by and i think this is going to be a very stark contrast to what you experienced as a child growing up it's going to be like completely different um completely like you are going to be so energized by the people in your community you're going to be so just like they're going to bring the light out of you they're going to bring that the, the highest version of yourself out and you're going to be in the environment that brings the highest version of yourself out and then you're going to understand you're going to understand so viscerally every cell in your body is going to understand the difference between the right environment for you as a soul and the wrong environment for you as a soul and so much of your issues in life came from compulsively choosing the wrong environment because of the way that you you handled the wrong environment when you were a child and i'm and I'm saying it like, yeah, you were born into an environment that was not aligned for you as a soul. It was way too harsh. It was, it was not, you, you came in with a lot of purity and that environment was not pure. So how were you ever going to thrive in it? And that's what spirit wants you to put into context. Instead of seeing you as the problem, the environment was the problem. And when you fix the environment, when you love yourself enough to receive the environment, that's totally perfect for you. That's when you thrive. And so it's like some kind of subconscious block group two. You've done amazing work. This is alchemy. This is like soul level alchemy at such a deep level because you've cleared the block that has kept you from actually being able to find the situation in life that makes you allowed to be you that makes you be real that makes you be free that sets you free you've cleared that block and now you're able to receive it the perfect environment for you to thrive and the perfect like especially seems to be triggered for you around people because yeah the, taking it back to the scene that i saw at the start of this reading for you like camping or having a festival or something in the forest and that could be anywhere in the world right but the people that are you're with is what's making you feel this amazing you could travel the world with these with this group of people and you would feel amazing in every part of the world Do you know what i mean because it's the people that you're with <sighs> okay group two so you've got some amazing friends coming in <laughs> or something about something about your soul family really solidifying for you in in the physical realm and this is really going to set you free to just be your authentic self and love yourself in a completely new way all right well that was your reading group two and yeah stay safe i'll see you in another one bye okay so group number three your positive changes that are coming in for you is that your psychic abilities your intuition is about to be upgraded big time and i feel like you're going to be a lot more in touch with your feelings and your emotions but in a really like flowing way because we've got the pisces energy here it's like so in the flow of life and i'm seeing something about your energy field where you might have come from a past where you've struggled to feel your emotions properly or they might have gotten stuck quite often and it might might have been like you felt numb for a while and then you had a big release or something about where your emotions and your awareness wasn't lining up properly like maybe you were unaware of what you were feeling and um and then it became aware you became aware of it like days later and you're like oh why didn't i notice that i was feeling this there's something about a disconnect okay <laughs> between your feelings and um 
why does that do that? I don't know. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> so funny. Okay, so there was a disconnect between your feelings and your intuition, like your ability to basically know what you're feeling. And if there's even a term for this little alexithemia, is some people experience this complete detachment from their emotional experience. And you might even have that. Um, but Spirit's saying there's some version of this that this group has been going through, some version of this alexithemia kind of thing, thing where, where you don't know that you're having an emotion. You're still having emotions, but you don't know. It, it's very interesting. And um, basically there's something about like your energy system being rewired a little bit and your energy flowing a lot better for you and this is going to allow you to be less numb or less detached from your emotions it could also just be that you have big emotions even and they've been hard to work through sorry my cat is on our desk <laughs> on the desk anyway Okay, so the energy that I'm getting from this card as well, tuning in, is like this person is on holiday in Tahiti or something like that. That's the energy I'm getting, like they're on holiday, they're going to Tahiti, you know, those beautiful, perfect, or maybe like Queensland, Australia, Northern Queensland, Australia, and they're just like chilling out on the beach and they are just having a very spiritual time, <laughs> a very zen time. This is what I'm getting from you. It's like positive change coming in for you. It's like you're going to be given the ability to relax more. You might be literally able to go on holiday or you might be able to take more time away from your job or work more on, on the things that you actually want to work on. Something like that, like some kind of a vacation or a holiday or, or something like that, because I really feel this person is on holiday. <laughs> So positive change coming in for you is like maybe you're going to be going on holiday, have the opportunity or have the opportunity to like take time, just take rest time, you know, to rest and to just be and to just chill. Like maybe something about you're going to have a lot more um, time to rest. Like I'm seeing specifically like maybe not working at your job, not having to um, work as much at your job somehow. Yeah, that's what I'm getting. <laughs> maybe even being able to take like actual actually leave your job for good and and have and maybe go into this space of i don't know somehow making it work but i'm seeing something about you leaving a job maybe um that's coming through quite strongly <laughs> or you don't intend to leave for good maybe but you just something happens and then you know like it's almost like Imagine you're on holiday and you just take off, you take like a month off your job somehow and you're on holiday in Northern Queensland, Australia, and then you get this amazing opportunity to become a scuba diver teacher and you're like, you know what, I'm going to change my life. I'm going to actually move to the tropics and become a scuba diver teacher. Like there's something about the universe is going to present you with an opportunity that you really were not expecting or you didn't think was possible. Like for example, you don't have to work at your job anymore and you're like, how is that possible universe? I don't see how this is going to happen, but spirit's like, well, maybe it's just going to happen for you. So <laughs> this is a really positive, positive energy. Okay. But back to the message about your intuition, because that was the first thing that came through. And I still feel that coming through strongly. It's like your intuition is upgrading. Your intuition is getting better. You are becoming like a very gifted clairvoyant. I feel like your clairs really coming online, but especially maybe your, um, clairvoyance, like visually being able to see messages, and definitely the clear, like the inner knowing, like just knowing something is true, feeling something is true, like that is something you're going to start to have a stronger connection with that faith, with that, with that understanding of, I know that this is true. Why do you know that it's true? I don't know why. I just know that it's true. <laughs> it's that kind of thing. Like you can't really give evidence to it. Like, I don't know why exactly this is true. I just have a really strong feeling that it's true. And I know in my heart that it's hundred percent true. <laughs> and you, you and your mind can kind of come in and try to be like, well, is it true? Is there any evidence for this? Are you sure about that? Um, and you can really kind of go there if you want. But spirit is saying that kind of spirit wants you to stop second guessing your intuition. <sighs> yeah, it's like stop second guessing the intuition because your intuition is actually so much more accurate even now than you think. But I'm getting that there's some kind of process that maybe is happening where it's like, you have an intuitive intuitive hit and then your mind is like comes in and discredits it somehow and it says that's not possible that's not <laughs> no 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 and then you start to doubt it and you're like okay yeah probably not 
I probably just made that up. That was my imagination or wishful thinking or whatever. Okay, so something about the positive changes is like, well, you're going to be honoring your feelings. You're going to be honoring your intuition. You're not going to be having that um, self-doubt coming in actually as much anymore because there's something about the, it's like the electrical charge, the electrical charge of your intuition, your intuitive impulses is going to be stronger. It's going to hit you. It's going to hit you harder. So it's going to make it harder for you to suppress it or ignore it because the voltage is going to be like a lot, you know, imagine you're getting almost like electrocuted by your intuition in, in a nice way, not in a negative way, just a nice kind of like jolt to the system where you're like, I know this is true. And it felt so strongly that I'm not going to go I'm not going to like betray myself I'm not going to go against myself just because there's no evidence for it so there's something about you becoming a lot more happy like feeling a lot happier feeling a lot more like you're navigating the realms of like the unknown navigating the realms of your intuition instead of feeling like I need evidence I don't understand give me evidence give me facts give me you know it's like you're going to actually be like you know what I don't have any evidence for this I don't know if this is true at all as in, I don't know if this is 100%, you know, <laughs> you, you don't have any evidence to prove it, but you know that it's true. Like that's, that's the kind of energy that's going to start moving you and moving you and moving you. And yeah, your intuition's just really blossoming for you, group three. Like, I don't know why it's been blocked, but it could have been a number of things. Like it could have even been physical health issues or um, something something I'm seeing like falling away and and giving you like it could have even been for example you were too stressed out at your job your job was too stressful so you put on holiday right and then your intuition floods back in and you're like wow I'm so tapped in and it was because this stressful environment was like clogging up all your deep um all of your um <laughs> intuition okay so there's something about positive changes coming in is like the environment that you're in is going to be a lot more conducive to your intuition that's what that's the message it doesn't have to be that you're on holiday in Tahiti or some other tropical place but that could could also happen <laughs> maybe um but it more is about you know when you're on holiday it's like you relax you let go you're like ah oh, yes and you give yourself that time and, and intuitive things pop up and you have the space of all of a sudden to respond to reflect on something or to be like, you know what, I want to change or I, I'm not happy at my job or I need, I need to change this thing or whatever it is. So it's like that kind of thing is going to happen. You're going to be given the space for your intuition to actually shine and you're going to be so much more in touch with that and you're not going to be doubting yourself. And maybe it's also like you've been having, maybe you've been going back and forth between a decision and there's been like one decision that comes from your heart and the other one comes from your head. Like for example, you really want to leave your job, which is from your heart, but then your head is like, you can't do that that's impossible there's no other way to make money da, 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 da. okay there's something about <laughs> what's changing for you where it's like your heart is gonna win <laughs> your heart is gonna win even though your head is like put up a good battle your heart is gonna win and you're gonna actually like leave that toxic job or make that change or you know take that risk or I don't know something's gonna happen it might also just happen for you to be honest with the Pisces energy is a very like go with the flow energy and it's kind of I'm feeling like you might not be having to do much yourself <laughs> like spirit is going to just put this situation into your lap you're just going to be put into a situation where you don't have to work um, for some amount of time and, and that opens up your world to so much other possibilities or that you like I said you're on holiday you took a month off your job and then at that holiday destination you decide to start this whole other life that you didn't really see coming and spirit just like plopped it into your lap like this new opportunity or you meet the love of your life or something like this life-changing but it's kind of happening to you <laughs> with Pisces Pisces can often feel like everything's happening to them um, because they can just get swept up it's like the fish fish in the water you can get swept up in the streams of life but this can also be a good thing because Pisces are really good at manifesting they almost magical beings on this earth because they're so good at manifesting <laughs> so it's like you're gonna be manifesting something like completely effortlessly look this person is literally on holiday okay <laughs> They're just meditating, having a spiritual time on holiday. This is exactly what's happening for you. Like you're just going to be effortlessly tuning in and um, like a lot, a lot, a lot is coming true for you. A lot, a lot, a lot is, is happening for you. It's almost like this is really putting your system back into balance. I'm seeing in the past, in the recent past, 
in the recent past, maybe it was from the stress of a job because I keep getting this energy of like the stress of a job was like limiting you, was making you um, like out of touch with your intuition for some reason because you were so stressed out and it was it was toxic for your system. And it's like there's something about in the in the recent past where your your energy was out of balance. You were too much in the stress and therefore you weren't enough in your intuitive energy. And that is really flipping on its head. And it's like the stress is really being taken out of your life. That's the positive change. The stressful thing is taken out of your life and so that a new path can come out come in that's much more you aligned with your intuition, with your feelings, with the flow. And you're going to feel very tapped in, very tapped in. Let's pull a card about that. Okay, so let's pull a card. Are you serious? <laughs> Look at this. Transformation, trusting the psychic gifts, the swan. Yes, that's exactly right. <laughs> Your psychic gifts are going to be blossoming. You're, you're going to have a transformation and it's going to be facilitated by some kind of like I said, environmental shift or some kind of stressful thing is going to be taken away or I don't know, but it's going to be a permanent shift. This is a thing like it's going to be a permanent shift, something permanent, cha permanently changing, like you're not going to be able to work. This is why I keep getting something about a job. It's like something about this shift is like you're not going to be able to work at that stressful job anymore because you're set, it, it's like it's not a match to you anymore. It's not a frequency match to you anymore. So there's something about you manifesting something at a much higher level than what you've had in the recent past. It's like something you manifested in the recent past. That's my cat. <laughs> something you manifested in the re Oh, she wants to go out. Your manifestation is going to be improving. Like so that something you manifested in the recent past, it was almost good like it was good but it wasn't quite it like there was something about something you manifest for example like we'll just use a job because it's easy to like you know put it into an example it's like you manifested a job that was really good but there was something off about it and it left you stressed all the time and and it wasn't quite enough pay and when it all came down to it you were like wait a minute this is kind of shit what have i done <laughs> And it's like you almost manifested something, but it wasn't quite right. And it's like something's coming in this positive change where you're actually going to manifest something that's the perfect alignment to you. Uh, and it's going to be, it might, it might even be something that you didn't think was possible because that keeps coming through. It's like, it might be something that you logically think, this is what I'm getting. It's in the realm of magic what you're manifesting. So it might be something that you logically think is not possible. Like, Bridget, how on earth am I going to stop working? That's impossible. But maybe there's some way. <laughs> there's some way that the universe could manifest that for you. And it's like there's some kind of trusting that you're going to have. You're going to be on a new timeline. You guys, like you out of all the groups, is probably one of the biggest changes that I'm getting. It's like a real real well actually there was a lot of change in the other groups too <laughs> but yours is like a you're gonna know it's like you're gonna know for sure like i'm on a different timeline okay i am on a different timeline this is a different timeline to what i was in definitely like you're gonna know that um yeah so so psychic abilities and you're really going to be able to be more in that en energy of the magic of, of the <sighs> of the manifesting something but having no really idea of how you just did it but you just did it because it's magic and that's the Pisces energy and and you're going to be a lot less in that analytical mind of um, analyzing something and criticizing it and breaking it down and and thinking of all the evidence and reason why your intuition is wrong it's like you're really going to be letting go of a layer of that of that energy of that skepticism because your psychic abilities are just going to be stronger so it's like you're gonna it's gonna be harder to ignore you know imagine that a message is just this quiet little whisper it's easier to think like oh i just imagined that didn't i that that wasn't really there but if it's like speaking right in your face and it's loud and it's confident you're probably going to pay attention to that message you know so it's like something about the receiver you as a receiver for psychic information <laughs> is going to become it's like it's going to become from a whisper that you hardly hear and that's easy to ignore to like you're having a full-blown conversation <laughs> and you can't ignore it and there's nothing in you that wants to ignore it right so yeah it's really beautiful energy group number three is there anything else you want to say spirit we're going to pull one card for you to finish up what would you like to tell group number three about positive changes happening for them okay so these fell on the floor you got open up to change new moon in aquarius and that is a lot of this is the big change that i was feeling for your group like 
you're on a different timeline. Starting already, I feel like it's already started. For some of you, it's already majorly started. For some of you, it's maybe about to really start to pick up pace. You also got step up and lead. New moon in Capricorn, another new moon. Oh my God, and another new moon. You got three new moons. They all fell out together. New moon in Cancer, relax. Okay, so this is what I was picking up. Like you're gonna have the opportunity to relax way more group three. Like, I don't know if you're going on a holiday or if you're not gonna have to work. Something like this is gonna be changing for you. You're gonna have way more time for relaxation and just for enjoyment and way less stress, like way less stress, cortisol levels, being high, all of that kind of stuff. It's just like, I'm seeing spirits like, no, nah, we're taking that away from you. You're not having to deal with that anymore. <sighs> but this step up and lead card, this one's interesting. <laughs> this one's really interesting. And this is why I kept getting this energy of a job, this Capricorn, like something I feel, I feel almost confident. I feel almost confident to say that something will be changing in your job, in your work, in your actual job. You might be changing jobs. You might be having a holiday from your job. You might be moving jobs. Did I say that twice? <laughs> you might be not having to work at all somehow. Like, I don't know for how long or if that's permanent. You might be retiring. There's something majorly changing for you to do with your work, to do with your job and to do with your role, therefore in society. And I'm seeing that with this new moon in Capricorn, step up and lead. It's like, you're gonna actually be having the energy to step up and lead in whatever way that you wanna step up and lead. It, it might be through a job, but it might be through a side project. It might be through this brilliant idea that you've had and you've just never had enough time to work on it. It's like something like that. It's giving me more energy of like, what you really want to do, you know, the juicy stuff. Not like I get a job, I got a job because I have to and it's obligation and it's good and I'm happy and it's fine. It's more like, this is the juicy stuff, like that life is made for, like this is the dream, pa the passion project, the dream, this is you living the dream. And that may or may not include working. And there's something about that that keeps coming through. Like, I feel like it's the energy of like, you get to work on your passion project full time. Okay, that's how I would put it. It's like you get to move out of the 3D job that feels like a prison and you get to work on your passion project full time and you get so much more energy and intuition and it feels so good and it feels so aligned and you're so grateful and you can't believe you manifested this. Like, okay, there's a definite energy of you can't believe that you manifested this. Like there's a part of you that might think, this isn't possible. This is logically completely impossible, but then it's gonna actually manifest and you're gonna be like, holy shit, I gotta step up now. I manifested this. It's, it's like you manifested, it's like, okay, it's the energy of you've been slaving away at this 3D job that's paying the bills, but it's killing you inside, you know, that kind of thing. You're stressed and you're cut off from your intuition. You feel numb and you're not processing your emotions properly and you're feeling all clogged up and bleh. And then somehow you have this major breakthrough where you're able to work on your passion project full time and you know things just completely align for you and you have this huge miracle and you're like, oh, <laughs> now I have to actually step up and do it. Now I actually have to step up and lead. Now I actually manifested the thing that I was trying to manifest for all this time. Oh my gosh, I did it. Now, I'm, now I actually did it. <laughs> so, so come back to relax. Spirit's saying there might be some kind of anxiety about this, about like, holy, holy shit, I manifested my dream opportunity. I better not mess this up. <laughs> but Spirit's saying you're not gonna mess it up. Don't worry. You're not gonna mess it up, but just relax. Just relax. Just open up to change. Know that this change is happening. It's not gonna leave you in like some kind of humiliating situation or anything like that. It's actually gonna lead you to your destiny, to what you've come here to be as a soul, like, who are you? What are you here to step up and lead? Because we each are called to step up and lead in some kind of way and to share what it is that we can share. And it's like, you're being basically pushed into that role in like a major way by the universe. Like you don't have to, it's, it's really like, imagine you're just a boat on a river and the river's just flowing towards your destination. And that's where you are. You're that boat on just flowing towards your destination on the river. And the river is spirit and you are the boat and everything's aligned. And then it's like, you're all of a sudden you get to this destination and you're like, whoa, <laughs> I really did it. Now I actually have to step up and lead. Now I actually have to prove, prove what I got. Now I actually, you know, and so there might be like that little, that little, like, 
wobble of self-doubt where you're like can I do this am I capable oh, this whole time I was held back this whole time I had to you know only work on my passion project on the weekends or you know in my for an hour a week or whatever it was and now I have it full time and there might be like this <laughs> you might be like oh my god you know like there's something about it where it might it might make you feel like oh my god the spirit's like relax you got this you got this you got this all right group three you got this don't worry about it you're actually going to be, um, apart from that little wobble of self-doubt because you get everything you ever wanted and you're like, holy shit, I didn't think this was possible or I didn't think this was going to happen this quickly or I didn't think I was ready for this yet, but now the universe is telling me I'm ready and I'm here. There's a little wobble, but really on the other side of that is just like flow and just I'm seeing like the floodgates opening for you in life and like I said, this psychic transformation is not temporary. It's not like, oh, you're on holiday and you are back in touch with your intuition for those two weeks because you're not stressed at your job. It's like, no, spirit's going to remove the stressful thing so that you can be in that energy because this is where spirit wants you right now. Spirit wants you in that intuitive energy. Spirit wants you feeling your feelings because that is what's making you this unstoppable force is when you're like really processing through that, that, that emotional energy. I'm seeing your group really wants to keep going. <laughs> I'm seeing for your group as well, like you're very smart, you're very intelligent, you're very intellectual and you kind of need to have a situation in life where your emotions are able to flow. Like you, your emotions being stuck and stagnant for you could actually block you way more than you think or may, way more than you might even realize. Like not having that flow, that processing, that awareness, even that intuition. Like I said at the beginning, I was picking up on feeling disconnected from the emotions, feeling numbed out. Spirits like those kinds of situations are not going to serve you. You really need, you really need to try to recognize that um, you might need more space to like feel your feelings than, than other people. You might need more space to have solitude or to process or to journal or um, something about your path to connecting with your inner world, to connecting with your emotions, to connecting with your intuition. It's like it's more important than the average person's because it might be something that you've been really disconnected from or that you've been or that's very sensitive and fragile almost. Like I'm getting it doesn't take much for your intuition to kind of get closed off. And that's actually just a sign of the way that you're meant to live you're like it's spirit saying it's not that you're designed wrong it's like more like you're meant to live in a very sensitive way you're you're a sensitive system because it's telling you which situations are good for you it's telling you very clearly like yes this job is right for me or no this job is not right for me because how how much space does it give you to flow how much space does it give you to feel how much space does it give you to be in touch with your intuition that's a really good sign for you guys about am I on the right path? Because spirit wants to give you the situations, the people, the places, the things in your life that give you that space to flow, that give you that space to feel and to, to move through your feelings because that's really something that's important for you in this lifetime. I'm seeing it's like almost something that your soul flagged as like really important to work on in this lifetime is like your feelings, <laughs> which is why it might have been something quite disconnected from you almost and it's like spirit wants you to know that aligned situations people places things is when you feel expanded when you feel intuitive when you feel in flow yeah that's what spirit wants to tell you <laughs> all right group three i am sending you so much love on your path and i'll see you soon all right bye okay so group number four you chose new moon in libra know you are loved Oh, I love this energy for you group four. I'm just feeling huge amounts of love coming in for you. Just like love pouring in for you from the divine straight to you. And I feel like it's like I'm getting the heart chakra energy for you group four. Four is the number of the heart as well. There's a strong heart chakra energy coming through for you. And it's like something you might have been going through grief. You might have been going through loss. You might have been going through something that has been hurting your heart or, you know, just making it harder somehow for the divine to like get through to you in terms of sending you all the love that the divine has for you because the divine has so much love for you group four like i can't believe how much as soon as i open the channel for your group it's just like love buckets and buckets and buckets of love pouring in for you and so it's something about spirit wants to okay yeah positive changes <laughs> that's right spirit spirit reminded me what this is title of this reading is positive changes that's what's coming in for you is like the love you're gonna i almost feel like crying group four because 
oh, I just, I know the kind of place you've been in where that, where that divine hasn't been able to get to you fully because I know how much, yeah, I just, I understand. And it's like, oh, I'm seeing relief, relief from having to go through so much of that dark night of the soul energy where you're just in that suffering or you're in that grief. And it's like finally the divine being able to get to you again, the divine love being able to pour into your heart where you you know that you're loved, where you know you're loved because you feel it. And it's like I'm seeing that some kind of real dark, dark energy you've been going through, like dark as in heavy, hard, dark night of the soul kind of energy. Something about that, it's it's coming to an end because because eventually it just does. That's what Spirit's saying. It's like eventually things just start to shift. Even if it feels like you've been there for the longest time, it does shift. And it's like something about these positive changes coming in is shifting so that your heart is going to be receiving love again. But Spirit, okay, so Spirit's saying that you've had something happen that's literally broken your heart, like it cracked it in some way, some kind of loss, separation, grief. It's been a crack, it's been cracked. But Spirit's saying it's cracked because now when it, it's like, it's almost like your heart broke and it's being put back together. But at this time, when you come back with this new heart, it's like, it's like bigger than before. It's like you can hold even more love before. You can love even deeper than before. And so much of the time people say, you know, that if you have something happen in life that like breaks your heart, it's almost like you'll never, you'll never recover. And I'm feeling like you might have thought that at some points, like I'll never recover from this. This is so painful. But what Spirit's saying is that you are kind of going to actually feel like some sense of recovery, some sense of feeling able to be in your heart space again. Because I'm feeling that energy of like when the heart breaks, when there's so much grief that it overwhelms it, it's almost like we can't be in that frequency of love where just the grief is just overwhelming everything else. And it's like, that's the energy I'm picking up for you where it's like that grief is going to be drying out, you know, drying out. Like imagine the water is flooding the lungs and it's drying out, it's drying out, it's drying out. And then it's going to be dry and there's going to be this warmth <laughs> radiating out from you and this heart expansion energy that you're going to be in group four. And it's so big. It's so much bigger than you've had before. And I'm seeing that you've always been a big hearted person. You've always been a loving person. But what you've gone through <clears throat> recently, this process you've been healing from, you've been going deep group four. Spirit is like, wow. Oh, spirit is like, wow. And I'm getting this sense of like all of the love that you weren't able to receive when you're going through that, that process, it's all been kind of like saved and stored up for you and you'll get it. <laughs> you're going to get it. And that's part of this positive change coming for you is like, you're actually going to get the love that wasn't able to come in. So I love that. We're going to pull some more cards for you, group four. Group four spirit, what positive changes are coming in for group four? What would you like them to know? Feelings and emotions, the water fairy. Yeah, <laughs> I've been feeling those feelings that you've been feeling. <laughs> but Spirit's saying like feelings, we can have beautiful feelings too. Like I'm seeing that you've been in the feelings, the sense of the feelings being negative or the sense of the feelings being overwhelming, you know, like, oh my gosh. Life has felt hard to feel. That's the energy. It's like, it's hard for me to feel this because it's hard. It's painful. But Spirit's saying life can feel easy to feel as well. Life can feel joyful. Life can feel peaceful. Life can feel like you're overflowing with gratitude. Life can feel like you're so in alignment. You can't even believe how amazing and magical it feels, you know? And I'm not saying you haven't been in alignment because you have been. And that's the other thing Spirit wants to say actually is that these feelings that you've been going through have been in alignment. You've had to kind of go through it. Like, you know, like how they say you can't go under it. You can't go over it. Well, we'll have to go through it. That's what Spirit's saying is like you weren't able to, like there's no way to spiritually bypass it, right? There's no way to just try to jump over it, not feel it at all. You've had to feel it and you've done it valiantly you've done it bravely you've done it very very well group four and so you've been in alignment that's a, that's a message seems to be an important one because i know that when you're in that dark night of the soul energy it can feel like how could this possibly be me in alignment <laughs> 
but it is because it's a process and it's bringing you it's like it's a vehicle that process of the pain the feelings is a vehicle and it's bringing you to a new destination and i keep getting the energy of rain with your group as well like rain falling heavy rainfall it's like there's been heavy rainfall but it's purified you you've been purifying yourself there's been a lot of feelings there might have been a lot of tears shed symbolic with that rain but you have been shedding that you've been releasing that and it's like with purification you're going to transform like this purification energy has transformed you and you're going to be having a lot more vibrant sense of life force and it just started raining you guys yeah there's some kind of washing away like you've the water fairy exactly you've had to wash it away you've washed you've washed that wound you've washed that wound and it's healing it's healing it's healing it's healing group four it really is it's healing and like i said that heart broke but it's going to come back bigger than before it's not going to be diminished you're not going to have to live with half a heart for the rest of your life or whatever it's felt like that sense when Grief is so overwhelming. It's like physical pain in the body, in the heart. I know that feeling so well. And it's like, that's the energy I'm getting from you. And spirits like the heart can feel things, other things too. It's not always just going to be that physical, like where it's literally like it takes your breath away. It's so painful. It's going to be other things too. It's going to be joy. It's going to be gratitude. It's going to be appreciation. It's going to be love. And that's the positive changes coming in for you group four is like positive feelings being allowed to feel the positive things again instead of just the suffering okay let's pull some more cards for you group number four group number four what positive change is coming in for them spirit positive change coming in for group number four embracing enthusiasm shout to the heavens with happiness <laughs> that's the thing like look at this card you guys there's almost a pendulum swing energy here group four where it's like you were in the depths of grief and you're going to pendulum swing into almost like the heights of joy and it's almost like spirit saying because you went so low is why you can go so high and it's like you're clear you've cleared so much so that this i'm getting your frequency rising it's like you know they talk about the death the cycles of death and rebirth in alchemy you know we're going through this alchemy in our process of life and Sometimes we have to die in order to be reborn, metaphorically, right? We have to let go of so much within us or within our world or things leave us or whatever it is. And we, ha we feel a sense of death. But that rebirth is also always assured. And it's like I'm seeing you've been in that energy of the death, of the transformation, of the, of the breaking things down, of the rearranging, of the shadow work, of the healing, of the cleansing the wounds. And and it continues like it and it goes somewhere else is what spirit wants you to know it's not just always going to be in that realm of shadow work you're actually going somewhere <laughs> and you're going somewhere really special with embracing enthusiasm you're going somewhere that you're going to be shouting to the heavens with happiness about and this is what i was getting it's like there's a pendulum swing happening for you this is what the positive energy is it's all in your emotions and your feelings and instead of feeling like like I said, the depths of grief, it's like you're going to feel the depths of, of gratitude, the depths of, of loving being alive. And it's like such a shift and it's your heart being so much bigger, so much bigger than ever before. And it's going to like other people are going to notice it about you. Other people are going to notice that there's a bigness in your heart space, that there's a love that emanates from you that seems deeper than before, that seems anchored in something deeper than before. This is a really beautiful group for this is a very almost giving me like okay you're giving me like very strong healer energies now because you've had to heal from something that almost broke you is what i'm getting like it really felt like it was really <laughs> like i'm feeling the energy of of the dark night of the soul it's like <sighs> heaviness like the feeling of a lot of weight on top of you. And then going from that to lightness, like all of that weight being taken away, that's the pendulum shift I'm getting. <laughs> lightness, lightness of being. Shout to the heavens with happiness, group number four. What is manifesting for group number four, Spirit, that they're gonna be shouting to the heavens with happiness? What is manifesting for group number four, Spirit? Ah, oh, yes, because look, the frog, cleaning house, 
cleaning, cleaning house, releasing emotional baggage. That's what I'm getting. It's like you've been cleaning, 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 cleaning your insides, your inner world. You've been clearing it. You've been clearing it. You've been clearing the blocks and you've released the emotional baggage. And when that's not there anymore, well, there's no more tears to cry. There's no more low frequency kind of like shadow things to move through anymore. Instead, it's like just <laughs> high frequency, just in enthusiasm, enjoyment, life, loving life. Okay. So the biggest shift coming in for you, the huge positive change is that you're finally reaching a huge milestone on your healing journey. We're going to be able to release some kind of massive heartbreak or block grief work that was keeping you in that dark night of the soul for an extended period of time. And you'll finally get able to come back up to the surface and breathe again, just like breathe again and just enjoy your life again. Okay, so we're going to come back and do a final message for you I just had to grab some water you might need to drink a little bit of water because your reading has had like a huge amount of water themes <laughs> okay so for group four spirit for group four what positive change is happening for them what else would you like to say <sighs> enjoy the journey you know what this is the positive change that's going to be happening is that you're going to be able to enjoy the journey that's pretty much the same message as what i already <laughs> what i already brought in but it's like spirit saying okay see how there's like a map and there's all these different places sort of to go to and I don't know if you can see that meow okay um yeah there you go there's a map and there's like all these different sort of places and you know kind of places that they've been it almost looks like a map that you mark like where you have traveled yourself like you're mapping your own way or something is what I'm getting and spirit saying like not all of the journey is going to be hard not all of it is going to be pain in your heart not all of it is going to be heaviness or darkness and just to know that along the path like things eventually do change eventually <clears throat> eventually <laughs> eventually it does change and if you're still in it just know that there is a breakthrough coming for you. And I'm feeling from this group almost like some of you guys might not even believe. You might not even believe that a breakthrough is coming. You might not even believe that it's even possible. You might be like, what are you talking about? Seriously? <laughs> but Spirit's saying, look, if you just keep following that path, if you just stay true to yourself, if you just stay loyal to this process, you know, it will change. And I think Spirit's just asking you to hold in there because um, because there's a lot more to enjoy. Like this map is really drawing me in. There's something about the message is like, don't look to your past to see how your future will be. That's not how it's going to be. The future is something very new. The future is something very new because you're you've done the, you're doing the you're doing the emotional work to clean clean the house, so to speak. You're cleaning house you're going to have this brand new place to live which is your own psyche you're cleaning house to the point where you're going to have a brand new place to live which is your own psyche your own mind your own inner world is going to be pure and loving instead of sad or traumatized that is a huge shift group four that is some powerful alchemy work that you're doing and so don't give up on yourself and don't judge yourself like i'm like don't compare yourself to someone else's path to someone else's journey because yours is unique and I'm seeing that you will have a lot to show for yourself. You will have a lot to show for it. Like it's going to be embodied in you, in your heart space, in your heart energy, in the heart energy that you bring to the world. It's going to be undeniable that you have gone deeper in this art of healing than many even think is possible. And you're going to be living proof of that. And that's going to heal and inspire the world. So don't give up on yourself because you're a healer and the healing work that you're doing on yourself is bigger than just you. It's healing this entire world. Okay, group four, so you're really special and important. <laughs> Keep going, okay? I'm sending you heaps of love on your journey and I'll see you soon. Bye.